In this episode, we're headed to the land where the stars at night are big and bright. You guessed it. We're in Texas, baby! Nature in your face! Look, I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at these crazy behind vines right here. You do not want that in your shin. Yow. Let me see if I can get my hand behind that. Wow. Um, yeah, the rotten stuff I flipped. Yep. All right, so I had one animal get away. Not gonna let any other ones get away. That's what happens when you're on the phone. You miss stuff. So let's rock and roll, baby. All right, this is our second official herp of the Austin area. We just landed only a few hours in. Huge um, plain belly water snake got away from us, but we got this guy. Yeah, this is a ground skink. They're, uh, they've got a pretty extensive range, including in uh, Illinois where we traveled from. And now we're in Austin, Texas, and uh, Jeremy flipped us under a rock. So two herps yeah. into it. Yeah, we found these guys in Florida, Arizona, yeah. Illinois, I mean, everywhere. They're really cool. Fun skinks, destroy insects. Booyah, guys. We got one of our target species in hand. All right, guys, so Jeremy found a snake earlier. We weren't able to catch it. That was a water snake, but uh, I flipped this log behind me. What do we find? A red striped ribbon snake. Really cool. You can see why they get that name, that beautiful reddish orange stripe here. Now, this is a subspecies of the western ribbon snake that we've highlighted in some of our videos that we found in Illinois and other places in the Midwest. But it's a little guy, but really cool. This is one of our target species, as Jeremy said. Beautiful snake. And well, it's this one has a lot of more orange oh, to it um, than red. Compared to what we've seen, but yeah, I mean, obviously, orange and red. Yeah, and it also so, has it that- good in the sun, Dave. Yeah, it looks, it's got that cream colored side stripe there as well. In the belly like most garters and ribbon snakes just plain but uh yeah this was one of the target species i really wanted to find one and uh this is my first snake of the trip so yeah all right so we're gonna let this guy go and uh we're gonna stick around this area for a few more minutes and then uh head off to some other locales and see if we can get on some more herps Booyah! all right guys herp number three we've got a uh, gulf coast toad very easy to identify they've got those like spiky ridges on the side of their yeah, body. Yeah, right here, kind of fringed, almost like a um, crested gecko. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. So our first amphibian of the trip, flip this one under a log here in this wooded area. All right, well, Jeremy predicted we'd find 10 herbs today. I said six, so he's already half. I mean, I'm already half the way there, but yeah, he's, he's got seven more to go. We'll see. So far, so good for only being out a couple hours. All right. Let's hit it and try to find more. All right, let's get it, get it. So we're back in the car. We left Austin. It was cool. Flew in, did some herping, found a few species. Got one lifer, at least the uh, red stripe um, ribbon snake. snake. Yep, that bring us up for a second. And we're headed to San Antonio now. And we're actually doing about 90 because the speed limit is 85. Come on, Texas. Yeah, unheard of in Illinois. <laughs> Now the place that we're headed, we're going to be road cruising, is well known for snake species. We're hoping to find, I mean if we get really lucky we might get a Texas coral snake, but we hear there's a Texas indigo snake, different species of garter snakes, so a lot of the snakes that we're going to find are going to be lifers for us, which is all the more exciting to go get them.
Texas tortoise. Are you serious? Yeah! <laughs> booyaka, 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 booyaka! <laughs> we got a tortoise! Oh, 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 a light this bird. is called a shelfie! A light bird! Yeah! Oh my gosh, he's... Are there any cars coming? I don't care, guy? run me over, I got he's a tortoise. Dude. Dave, get in here. <laughs> get in oh with the shelfie. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, look at his pink face, he's been eating cactus yeah, fruit. Yes, yeah, yeah, he has. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He's been eating cacti fruit. Yep. Is it a boy or a girl? It is a male. He's hitting about a quarter mile an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look what I just found on the crawl. Another really cool invertebrate, a Texas brown tarantula. I've never seen one of these before, so it's another lifer for us. We were walking along a trail here, and here he is just blending in with the leaves. But now these guys will get the size of your fist. This one's pretty small right now. It's one of the more common tarantulas in the southwest and uh, they're often found in trees which is pretty awesome all right let them go all right this is awesome we just uh, found another Texas tortoise this one much lighter in color and uh, looks like a little bit shyer. He's just tucked up in his shell. He looks like he doesn't want to come out and say hi. Yeah, it seems extremely old, um, not only due to that lighter color, but you can see on the carapace here, the growth rings are completely worn out and worn down, and that happens um, with old species. Yeah, and these things old can specimens, live. specimens, I should say. They can live upwards of 100 years, so this is a really, really old tortoise. But, and fun fact is they're the smallest North American species of tortoise that yeah. we have. So this is fully grown. You can see, I'm not gonna touch it because they are protected, but compared to my hand, um, that's fully grown. Yeah, yeah, so what is there, four species here in the US? Uh, yes, I believe so. And the, and the gopher tortoises, they get really big compared to this one. Yep, yep, go check out our gopher tortoise episode that we did. <laughs> yeah, so we're not touching because it's protected. And I mean, as you can see, it's just hunkered down here. If a car came by, it's gonna blow it up. So that's one of the, um, a lot of the ways they die. Also, agriculture. I was reading agriculture is one of the biggest um, killers of these guys. Just you know, tearing up fields and crops, and that's where they are grazing in there on the prickly pear cactus. So unfortunately, when you're slow <laughs> and you only lay two to three eggs at a time, your species can definitely come under fire when humans are at hand. Yeah, I find it amazing that uh, we found two of these. And, yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Yeah, in less than a 24-hour period. And these things are not often seen, so, I mean, we're getting pretty lucky. But now it's time to go get some of these snakes that we've been looking for. All right, we got another ribbon snake here. And at this location, this is probably an integrate between the arid land and the Gulf Coast ribbon. Yeah, and it looks almost identical to the red stripe ribbon snake that we found earlier. The biggest difference is this one has that yellow dorsal stripe rather than the bright red. But a pretty good find for uh, the middle of the day in the heat. Yeah, and it's a lot lighter yellow too, and this guy is super skinny as well. Yep, awesome find. Let's go see if we can find more. Oh man, we just got crazy excited. We passed our target species. I mean, this is the number one thing we came to Texas for was to find a Texas indigo. <clears throat> we slammed on the brakes. My car's right up here. Look at this thing. And it was obvious. It was Looking pretty. I mean, it doesn't beautiful look dead. Indigo. Freshly killed. Oh, that sucks! <laughs> oh, I hate people sometimes, you know that? I'm gonna punch this tree! <laughs> Hi guys. We just yes. ran up on a horn lizard on the side of the road. Yep. Dave, we got that horn lizard. Got, hey guys, we were just taking one more trip before going back to the airport. Figuring maybe, just maybe we'll get lucky and we come across a Texas horn lizard, one of our target species again! Look at this. Just, <laughs> he's just sitting in the road. And we saw them. Look at that dorsal wasn't... stripe. I did not know they had that really light dorsal stripe. Very cool. Oh, These guys man. are like little triceratops, you know, only they have more <laughs> than three cool. horns, but they're so cool. Yeah, and this is a protected species, so this one cannot be handled. So we're going to get our camera and just get some really close shots, but um, I mean, that's it. This is awesome. This is one of our target species. Amazing. Yep, likely our final herp of our trip. 
what an ending to this awesome journey so man this is great wasn't it yeah <laughs> that's right that's right sweet all right, all right. that's awesome